through the cleats. I hope she sees her son just saying, I love you, mommy, everything's okay. I'm right here with you. <laughs> Growing up in Western New York, Ethan Haley was always playing and smiling and sketching. He loved art. He was always coloring or drawing. He would just stop and then all of a sudden say, I want to draw. I think he could make his dreams a reality. Ethan's reality changed in 2018, the week of his 10th birthday, when doctors saw a shadow on a scan. We told him what it was and that it was cancer and that he needed surgery. And he just, you know, OK, let's do this. We're going to fight it. So began the surgeries, the courses of radiation, fighting the tumors in his brain and then his spine, as Ethan twice beat back the cancer. He just had a strong will to live. Like, he was not going to lay down and just not let it dictate who he was. But in the winter of 2020, scans revealed four new tumors in Ethan's brain, with nothing more doctors could do. We told him he was dying, unless there was a miracle. That's, I mean, just said it. He knew it, um, but he accepted it and lived fully knowing that he was dying. Ethan drew comfort from his faith, family, and his art, entering a contest to design shoes for Green Bay Packers running back Aaron Jones to help raise awareness for pediatric cancer research as part of the NFL's My Cause, My Cleats campaign. In November, Jones surprised Ethan on a Zoom call. Hey, what's up, Ethan? Uh, this is Aaron Jones. I wanted to let you know that not only you're a finalist, but you're the winner. And I got your cleats right here. I sent something to your house as well. It's only right you get a pair of the cleats you designed. Awesome. <laughs> Week 13, Jones had the longest run of his career in Ethan's shoes. He's got a chance to the 10 to the 5 what a to run. the end zone. What a Touchdown, run. Aaron Jones. He was right there with me, and he knows when I got in the end zone, that was for him. I might have had Jones on, on the back of my jersey, but I had Ethan right here in the front. To see Aaron run in Ethan's cleats, that was just, it was super special. Two weeks after that game, December 20th, Ethan Haley died. He was 12 years old. For his memorial, he recorded a message for all who knew him. I have learned that my body is just an outer sh shell. It's my heart that really matters. I hope that we, my walk through cancer has been a light to you. I'm always going to have a connection to him forever. I'm sad because I wanted to grow our relationship and build upon it, but I'm glad I had a positive effect and left his family with something that they can always remember. As the Packers play their biggest game of the season, one family will be watching, cheering, remembering. I hope they see their son right there with me and they know that uh, everything that's happening is for him. We'll see a guy running for Ethan and we'll see Ethan cheering. <laughs> He would have been super excited, my boy. <laughs>